Gianni, thank you. And we continue our team coverage with reaction to the arrest. CBS 4's Hank Tester spoke with one of the other victims, and he's live at the hospital where Principal Perez remains tonight. Hank? Well, this principal is a very popular guy. And so people were reacting today when they learned about the arrest. Here is the story. He's getting justice for what happened. She's talking about Marilyn Aguilera, charged with DUI and serious bodily injury to another. That another is Javier Perez, who lost his legs in an accident caused by, police say, Marilyn Aguilera. The accident occurred April 26th. The arrest came May 17th. I think it's about time they finally did something about it. Um, I don't know why it took so long, but I'm glad she finally got arrested. Javier Perez, the principal of South Dade High School. Students, faculty, staff, shocked. They love their bow tie wearing principal. Blood drives a big show of support over the last few weeks. Pit Bull weighed in. So did Chicago Cubs first baseman Anthony Rizzo. South Dade High School parents grasp the big picture. Her life is ruined too, but it's to her own doings. You know, the gentleman, the principal had nothing to do with it. He was just minding his business, doing the coaching, and all of a sudden a car comes and destroys his life. Detrás de cada renglón. That's Elias Espinosa. Lucky he still gets to work on his boat. Javier Perez shoved him out of the way, away from the path of the out of control SUV. He owes his life to the principal. Creo que la ley debe ser implacable. He says, I believe the law needs to be very strict with these cases for the people who drink and drive at five in the afternoon. Okay, so why did it take so long for the arrest? Legal experts tell CBS4 that the uh, toxology report uh, came out recently, but the police could have arrested this individual right on the scene at that time. But possibly they waited to see exactly what the charges would be, whether or not the victim would survive. Otherwise, the woman would have been charged with manslaughter. Fortunately, he's alive tonight. Reporting, I'm Hank Chester, CBS 4 News. Back to you.